drought is pounding crop conditions across the state and forcing irrigations to work overtime. But UNL Extension Irrigation Specialist Bill Krantz says relying almost solely on artificial rains this year can show producers where they can improve their operations. Well, one of the things that certainly this time of the year and the year like we're having in 2012 would provide is an opportunity to go out and look at the uh, effectiveness of their irrigation practice with their distribution systems, whether they be with the center pivot or with a furrow irrigation system. But in particular, center pivots are designed to apply water uniformly, but in some cases due to uh, sprinkler wear and tear, due to replacement of uh, a damaged sprinkler with one that wasn't meant to be in that position and, and other kinds of things, water distribution is not as uniform as it normally would be. The summer we've had in 2012 is going to allow the producer to go out in the field and look, um, from a bird's eye view would be the best, uh, at what the crop is telling them is happening related to water. And we've got uh, aerial photographs showing um, differences in crop uh, physical features in terms of their, the greenness and their potential production levels and all those kinds of things that, that show up if you look at things from the air. And so by looking on the field situation on a year like we've had in 2012, we we'll allow you to clearly identify where those issues exist and are likely to have existed even when we had more normal precipitation but are masked by the fact that we normally get more rainfall and therefore the consequences of those uh, problems with the irrigation system are not as visible as they would be this year. For more information, you can read Bill's recent article on the CropWatch website. Mm -hmm.